three, two, one. Oh, do we all go? We all have to roll. Good morning. Afternoon. It's definitely afternoon. We played D&D &D today. Had a pretty big battle today, which is kind of why I just went in mentally more with that. We tried a new map kind of system where we could see things visually. I, that that was a game changer. It worked well. I mean, I don't yeah. know how we brought a big running chaotic encounter like that without... Some kind of visual. I'm gonna try and do four miles today. Okay, I'm gonna do a little panorama view right now before the horn goes off. It's supposed to go off in about a minute from right now. And usually one of these yard, large yachts starts like blasting their horn they think it's this one yeah it's definitely that one <laughs> vlog i just got back from my four ish mile walk oh 4.2 so i decided since tommy actually just left on his run a little bit later than he initially expected i'm gonna bake banana bread again just for fun we only have two bananas unfortunately so i might have to use one of them frozen bananas stay tuned we're, we're gonna figure this out together if i disinfect all the things that i've touched since i left <laughs> we're gonna move through this a little bit quicker this time and it's all gonna be in time lapse, so enjoy that. I decided to try to make one Nutella one just to see how it works, and now they're gonna go into the oven. All right, so. I hope Tommy is excited and surprised by this. I left him the batter because he loves that. All right, see you in 55 minutes. I'm currently editing the vlog of making this for the first time, so this is just funny now because it's like, it went so well <laughs> that I'm doing it again. I'm getting stomach pain again, oh, uncomfortable. So uh, I'm gonna turn the camera off for a bit and check in after the uh, bread is done. It looks like it should be done just because it's very brown. They look so cute! Look at them! Look at you! Cut into that bread. Look at that bread! I'm about to take a nice bath. I'm so excited about it. And we're gonna play more D&D tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed the banana bread baking and all that stuff. Oh, our bulb is going out. One of our, how many other six bulbs are going out? The reason I asked where we were is because I wanted to move to the front of the clearing yeah. to where we could see them. And I want to climb up a tree to be able to like get a better view. So you're gonna climb a tree? I'm a country. Um, roll me a um, acrobatics check or athletics either. Yeah. 13. On the count of three then? Can I stay in the tree? You can stay in the tree. Yeah, I'm up here already. Right. Stay in the tree. So those of us who can attack from range can move into a position where we can <laughs> that was funny. attack from range and... I'll still throw a javelin I'll... Like in my head. I'll get my, you get my crossbow up. I'm ready. Three, two, one. Oh, do we all go? We all have to roll initiative. My javelin crits. Oh, damn. Added, no, how far can you disadvantage? Throw a javelin. 120 with disadvantage. So I haven't used my inspiration rule yet. Um, okay. I rolled, I rolled a five, and then I re-rolled a nat twenty. Hey. Okay. The D, are you doing a ranged attack? I am firing a crossbow bolt. I do five damage. Uh, Valkoria. And I hit, and I do seven damage. Great. Roll initiative. Yeah, we're gonna get. <laughs> we're gonna get it. Zadif. Twelve. Valkoria. Eight. Uh, so the first one is going to throw one at Buddy. That is only a ten to hit. That's what it needs. Oh wow. <gasps> No, AC a 10. Yep. Oh, I thought it was, okay. I thought it was oh, 11. Oh, no. no. Has it gone up? Because it, it was 10 at the start. Uh, did you increase your dexterity or get different armor? 
I don't have any armor. Okay, then then no, it is a it is a ten still. Well, all right, we need to. Uh, we need to help, buddy. We need <laughs> armor for <laughs> two people. Okay, I'll core it out of the tree, uh, and that is going to be a thirteen to hit. Doesn't hit. Twenty to hit. Hits. Uh, so there's another one that's immediately to your left. Sure. I'm Seventeen to hit. Hits. Flurry of blows and hit him again. Great. 14. Uh, hits and finish him. Sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna cast Hunter's Mark on the big one. Yeah, Xander's gonna go too, yeah. He's gonna 15 to hit. Uh, 15 hits. Yeah. Two points of damage for Xander. Lovely. <laughs> Our D&D session today was dope. I didn't film a ton. There was a huge reveal and a bunch of things like with my character and how we merged a bunch of like my backstory with everything else. And it was incredible. Uh, somebody that we've been traveling with for a bit actually is the person who gave me the eagle that I have. And it's just, it's so cool. And they knew my parents. And so this just like adds so much to the backstory that I've been putting together with our DM. So I started getting a little bit like crampy. So I decided I'm gonna go walk earlier today than usual. I really, really, really wanted to lie down for a nap because I get really like exhausted when this happens, um, when the pain hits. But uh, I think I'm gonna go out and try and like, just get some fresh air. Hello vlog. I have been not vlogging in the last couple days because I just haven't felt the best, but I wanted to pick up the camera to show obviously this, which I've already shown. And I'm out for my daily four plus mile walk. I was in bed most of today because I still kind of feeling a little crappy, but I had like a lot of productivity today when it came to different thesis things. I ended up needing to get more people and I was trying to close off my stuff today, but I didn't get a chance to do that. So uh, I reached out and like seven people super proactively helped me out. So thanks to those people. I'm gaining a lot of motivation right now to do the things once everything opens, instead of deciding to wait like I did before. So different things that I've set goals for, like getting Invisalign, something as simple as that has been something I've wanted for a while. And I'm gonna try and do that quicker when everything opens. I've been watching a lot of travel vlogs, so that's getting me excited, not for traveling, but more so for the pictures that I'm already posting on my travel page for Instagram and different things like that. So yeah, it's just, I have, I don't feel the best, but I'm still trying to get some stuff done. But yeah, something I definitely didn't have when the COVID shutdown started was this like sense of peace when it came to being able to be inside most of the time and do things on my own terms. Like a couple days ago, I was sitting there, I was like, this is nice that I get to sit home and be with Tommy and just like exist for a little bit, you know? I just wanted to do a little catch up because I feel like I haven't filmed much in the last couple of days and it's just because I've been very uncomfortable and just not really in the mood because I've just been laying in bed sleeping a bunch just to reconnect with a bunch of people that I haven't talked to in a while, whether it was because I saw something on their story or it was because something that um, my thesis required me to like find more people. Like I just find that this is a great time to reconnect and just let go of that whole notion of having it be annoying to reach out to people just because I'm, I don't know, I need something. That's something that I've had to let go of and I've had a lot of good practice trying over the last couple weeks just reaching out to people. So yeah, that's been really, really nice. I'm sure I could come up with a lot more things to say, but I'm gonna help break up the talking with this nice view because I get to live here and that's something else that I've started to really put into perspective that I live in such a nice place. I am back here. I walked all the way down towards Devonian Harbor Park and now I'm back to these and they're better lit because it's super dark outside. Hello vlog. It's currently 5.30 p.m. or so and I haven't vlogged much today because I actually had a really productive work day and I was in meetings most of the time so hence the lack of vlogging. I haven't really been filming much the last couple of days either mostly because I've been gathering stuff for my thesis, I had to recruit more people, and I just really hungered down and did that because I didn't want that to keep dragging out. Cramps aren't totally gone today, um, nausea still pretty much there, loss of appetite, and then feeling really sick from not being able to eat anything because my body is still hungry, still happening, don't love that, but I mean, it's what happens. Things are going well, and I'm trying to acknowledge that when I'm acknowledging other things and starting to realize that it's just... Uh, with everything crazy that is going on, there are still a lot of really good things happening and it's really easy to fixate and focus only on the bad things because they make you feel worse. But I started to kind of embody like, take all the good things that you do and put the same amount of energy you would into something that bad and then just realize how 
how much of an accomplishment it is to do all the things that you're currently doing. Because I feel like I don't give myself a break enough with all the things that I'm doing. I'm gonna go get some food so I can have some protein and just some fresh air. It's like I never left. I think this is the most they've ever given me. Tommy is out for his run when he gets back from Chipotle waiting for him. So he'll be pretty happy about that. 